What if you could turn a simple profile picture into a full cinematic shot like this? In this video, I will show you exactly how I created this Harry Potter style spider encounter using After Effects and a couple of AI tools. And because we are going to be using several AI tools, this would become very expensive with all these different subscriptions on different platforms. Therefore, I will be using Artlist.io. I have been using Artlist.io for several years now for their music, sound effects and stock footage and now they have a bunch of AI tools included as well, all in one subscription, such as Nano Banana, VO3, Kling and a bunch more. This allows me to use all of these AI tools for a fraction of the price all in one platform. Click the link in the description below to download all the tutorial and project files for free, plus you get all the prompts that I have used. So let's dive in. The idea was simple, a mysterious force that looked magical and a little bit unsettling, like something straight out of the Forbidden Forest in Harry Potter. But instead of actually going to the forest, I wanted to see what I can do just using AI tools. And all of that starting from just a simple profile picture of myself. In Artlist, I went to their AI tools and then I went for image to image where I could upload this profile picture of myself. And then as model, I chose Google's Nano Banana. I uploaded my profile picture and started with a simple prompt. This is the prompt I used. If you want to use the exact same prompt as me, you can find that in the description below. So I tried a few different lighting approaches and that gave me something like this. After a few iterations, I ended up with this shot, which I thought looked really cool. So I'm going to start off with this first frame. I treated this like a creative conversation that you're having with AI. It's not like you're just writing one prompt and have your result instantly. It's a conversation that you're having until you find something that you actually like. You can also use other AI tools to improve your prompts. For example, writing your prompt first in ChatGPT and then asking it to optimize this prompt for Google's Nano banana. Now it's time to bring the image to life and for this I chose Google's VO3 which is also an option in Artlist. You can go over to the image to video feature where you can now upload that image that you just generated and again here you have different versions of models that you can use to animate your videos. I actually used VO3 at the time of recording but now they have also introduced VO3.1 which is an even better version of VO3. Now these video models only can generate up to X amount of time. So what I ended up doing is generate my introduction and just describe what would happen with me standing there. Once I have this first shot, the spider is now closer to the camera. Then I will go to the last frame and export this frame to start a new video generation from. So this is where we are later going to stitch all of these videos together in Adobe After Effects. So with this frame, I'm again going to import this in the image to video on Artlist. And now I'm going to choose a different model, Kling 2.5 Turbo. The reason why I chose this model, it's built for dynamic action, faster motion, smoother tracking, and really great stability. This is the prompt I have used. If you want to use the exact same prompt as me, you can find that in the description below. I generated multiple takes until I found something that I liked. And once you're satisfied, we are going to download them. So basically we're going to import these videos in a new composition and just place each video behind each other. Make sure that they match because sometimes you will see small differences in the last and first frame of the next clip. Once I have my entire video, I'm now going to pre-compose everything together. So I stay with one video layer and here I'm going to add time remapping to. So what I want to do is play a little bit with the timing of everything. Once I have that, I will create a new adjustment layer on top of that and add the quick shake preset that you can download for free with the link in the description below. This allows me to add in a little bit of extra camera motion to my video and it makes it a little bit more believable. I'm also going to add RSMB, which is a plugin to add in motion blur. After that, I'm going to create another adjustment layer and here I'm going to add in some noise or import a grain texture. And the reason why I'm adding noise and kind of destroying my video a little bit is to add in a little bit of detail like it has actually been recorded by a camera and not been generated with AI. One of the common things in CGI or AI is that they're often way too clean and clean doesn't look realistic. We call this crepitizing your footage, making your footage worse just to sell the effect better. 
So from here, you can also add in some lens distortion. You can add in some chromatic aberration, which is that kind of bleeding color at the edges of your videos. And then I also added a grate to this entire video just to give it my own touch, my own look. And if you're not too good at grading, you can also choose a LUT from the Artlist library. After your entire video is done, now comes the most important part to bring everything together. You need sound effects to make everything believable and you also need these kind of eerie swooshes and risers. And so for this, I also used Artlist sound effects and music library where I searched all the fitting sound effects. For example, when the spider is running, you actually hear some kind of footsteps some kind of wind, some birds, some um, forest ambient sounds, also my reaction, my whistle, and just add anything that you could think of that actually should belong in the scene if you were to capture it in real life. Layering your sounds is definitely key here. And that brings us to this final result. from a single portrait photo to an entire cinematic spider encounter. And honestly, I'm pretty amazed that we can do this now in 2025 and it's improving so rapidly. So I'm super excited to see what we can do with this in the near future. Everything you just saw was created entirely using only AI tools with some small refinements in Adobe After Effects and brought to life with Artlist's music library. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give this video a like. Also subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to stay notified when I upload new videos. And if you enjoyed this, maybe you will also enjoy my other content like the one right here. And until next time, create epic videos. Bye.